Ladies and gentlemen, do you think that um, Bernie Sanders, God bless him, do you think Bernie Sanders would do anything to make Democrats that who cheat him quit? Do you think that he would do anything to ensure that Debbie Wasserman Schultz or Tom Perez or anyone who made that wonderful app in Iowa that just coincidentally, oh, it was a coincidence, didn't work? I love how they didn't blame the Russians this this time. It was just, you know, now well, you know, Clinton campaign officials, uh, they got to make a living. So they made an app that just miraculously didn't work. Do you think that he would, though, do something to where they quit <laughs> just in frustration? This is why Trump is amazing, because they don't know what to, they don't know what to do with him. Now he's going to pardon Roger Stone or at least reduce the sentence drastically, or hopefully just pardon Roger Stone. I think he should pardon everyone who has been harmed by the fabricated hoax of the Mueller probe, which they didn't include in the articles of impeachment. So if these people deserve to be indicted, why didn't any of their indictments, why weren't any of their indictments listed within the articles of impeachment? That's right, because the articles of impeachment were a bunch of nonsense. There was no crime alleged, and there were no crimes linked from the Mueller probe to the articles of impeachment. Nothing from Roger Stone, nothing from Michael Flynn. Assange should be pardoned. I've written three times about that in the Daily Caller and the Times of Israel. But here, prosecutors quit amid escalating Justice Department fight over Roger Stone's prison term. So this is hilarious. All four career prosecutors handling the case against Roger Stone, that you could also say all four Democrats, all four people who would never in a million years vote for Trump, and who, just like Peter Strzok and Comey and McCabe and Clapper and Brennan and John McCain and Nancy Pelosi, just like all of these people, both left and right, wanted they didn't they wanted nothing to do with Trump. They wanted Trump out. They want Trump out of government. Trump is winning. He's winning in such a profound manner that they're quitting out of frustration. <laughs> I, think I always like you know try to correlate this to Bernie Sanders because Bernie Sanders, good human being, but doesn't know how to fight. He's trying to ingratiate himself every second. They're probably going to cheat him. if he doesn't run away in in New Hampshire. I mean, already Amy Klobuchar is up with like the first. I love how Biden left also. It's interesting. Biden's campaign is done. But all four career prosecutors handling the case against Roger Stone, a confidant of President Trump, asked to withdraw from legal proceedings Tuesday. And one quit his job entirely after the Justice Department signaled it planned to reduce their sentencing recommendation for the president's friend. I love that. It's not just, it's not the fact that Roger Stone, that they have no evidence. Well, first of all, the whole thing with him is that they trying to say oh, he obstructed justice. That's essentially what they got him on. There should never have been a Mueller probe to begin with. There should never have been a Mueller probe. It was a completely contrived, fabricated hoax. Russia didn't hack the DNC because they were afraid of Hillary. Hillary Clinton is going to be the nominee, by the way. Did I tell you that about 10,000 times the past three years? But they weren't afraid of the DNC. Yes, Russia was so afraid. They wanted 80% more of, of U.S. uranium capacity. Oh, they're so afraid. They hacked the DNC. What kind of imbecile, what kind of naive, pathetic imbecile would believe this? Oh, that's right, the Democratic Party. People who vote Democrat. Russia didn't hack the DNC. Even the ODNI says, well, we're not certain, but we'll go with it. But here... Uh, and one quit his job entirely after the Justice Department signaled a plan to reduce their sentences. So, um, one of the prosecutors wrote in a court filing he had resigned as an assistant U.S. attorney, leaving the government altogether. Okay, don't let the door hit you on the way out. Three others asked the judge permission to leave the case. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Trump got them. The orange menace got in their heads, and they couldn't stand it. Like, no, Trump, I'm quitting. Like, this is, this is their mindset. If they can't ruin Stone's life and retribution, they just quit. <laughs> They're so frustrated. They're like, please, can we just, we got the CNN, you know, morning raid. 
Meanwhile, James Comey makes like J. Edgar Hoover look like, you know, a saint. With Comey, what he did worse than worse than J. Edgar Hoover. Worse. That's a whole other story. Former uh, former member of special counsel Robert the Third, Mueller's team. Robert Mueller the Third. His team also indicated in the filing he was quitting a special assignment in D.C. U.S. Attorney's Office, though a spokesman, uh, spokeswoman said he will remain. Who cares about these people? They're like, oh, I'm leaving. Bye. Toodaloo. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more. Bye. It was fun having you trying to um, implement your retribution against Trump. Too bad he's part, Stone's going to get pardoned, as I hope Assange and, 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 and Michael Flynn needs to be pardoned. Assange needs to be pardoned. You know, I want Manafort pardoned, and they can go, oh my God, they'll tear their hair out in frustration there. And then they'll run on, uh, vote for Clinton, because uh, Trump pardoned these people who we have no clue why they were even indicted. Later Tuesday, the department filed an updated sentencing recommendation that contradicted the reasoning laid out uh, by line prosecutors and asserted the initial guidance could be considered excessive and unwarranted under the circumstances. Well, there you go. They want nine years for what? None of the four career attorneys who signed the first memo affixed their names to the second. Ultimately, the government defers to the court as to what specific sentence is appropriate under the facts and circumstances of the case. The Justice Department statement came hours after Trump's tweet about the sentence. That's right. This is a horrible and very unfair situation. The real crimes are on the other side. Exactly. And nothing happens to them. Cannot allow this miscarriage of justice. You think Bernie Sanders would say something like this? Bernie Sanders can't even endorse a, a pundit. Bernie Sanders can't even endorse a pundit who uh, perhaps people view as now his biggest booster on the internet. I mean, Bernie Sanders, God bless him, can't even stick up for his own campaign, voters, pundits. I mean, the uh, law professor Zephyr Teachout, wonderful, wrote a brilliant article in The Guardian. What does he do? He's like, oh, Biden? Nah. Corrupt? Nah. Biden's not corrupt. Why would anyone say that Biden was corrupt? All he did was force out a prosecutor that was investigating, or that was about to investigate, the corporation under, under criminal investigation for corruption, funneling millions to his son because his son didn't speak Ukrainian or Russian, but happened to be on, on the board of directors because he worked for Amtrak? Anyway. Trump fights. He fights. Justice Department spokesman. Okay, so Stone was convicted by a jury in November of obstructing Congress and witness tampering. <laughs> obstructing Congress in a probe that should never have started to begin with. So they just, they, 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 they sit back and they say, oh, the lovers of government bureaucracy. Oh, my goodness. The United States of America. And then they're like, Oh, uh, he, Trump didn't work with Russia. Ooh, mm. Oh, how did that happen? Well, you know, he still obstructed a legal investigation. No, he didn't. Stone is a liar. He lied. He lied because he um, fabricated this image around him. But he doesn't deserve prison time be just because he got caught up in this retribution, this... this maniacal rabbit frothing at the mouth attempted retribution the fbi under uh, hoover infiltrated civil rights groups okay comey would have done the same thing if he was the, if he was the director back then the fbi and other intelligence agencies did horrible things we, I don't even want to go into him. It, the public record. Okay. Um, you can just look up. Um, the, the brilliant journalist who 
was given a real raw deal. Gary Webb. Look what they did to him. What they did to him for for really blowing the whistle on what the wonderful intelligence community was doing in South Central Los Angeles. So Gary Webb, may he rest in peace. God bless him. One of the great journalists of all time. So anyway, I you don't wanna, I don't want to go into it. YouTube policies, okay. These these intelligence officials are nasty, nasty, nefarious people. And the, I'm talking about the ones at the top. And half the time they don't know what they're doing. The only times they do know what they're doing is when they're doing something against, um. American citizens like Stone. Oh, yeah, we got him. Yeah. Just because Stone lied about a whole bunch of things pertaining to his image doesn't mean he knew anything about the DNC emails because he didn't. He didn't deserve to be uh, sentenced to prison. You can say what you want about Stone, but he didn't deserve to be sentenced to prison. Michael Flynn never deserved any case or prison time for allegedly lying to an FBI agent. Who cares? It wasn't a legitimate investigation anyway. The Mueller probe was part of the neuroses of Democrats who have paved the way for Clinton to be nominee. Hillary Clinton is going to be nominee. It is not national security if the DNC is hacked by by every country on the entire planet every day of the year. It's not national security. The DNC is a private entity. You maniacal, rabid, frothing at the mouth, pathetic imbeciles on the left. The DNC, if the RNC were hacked, you better believe they wouldn't care and they would be so happy. Oh, well, you know what? Uh, we have the, they, they, taught us, they told us the corruption. of. Uh, they wouldn't care. They lost, not because of the DNC emails. Comey's, Comey's letter a week before, was far more impactful, far more impactful than the DNC emails. In fact, I remember being on the left and the DNC emails came out and I I remember the I'm with her crowd because of course when I was on Twitter, I do not have a Twitter account. I do not, do not have a Twitter account. Those people are, you know, parodies of me, okay? The, the, the I'm with her crowd. I was like, that's all you got? That's all you had? Oh, who cares? Oh, Debbie Wasserman who cares? And then when they lost, they're like, yeah, Russia. Then they set up and framed Trump with the dossier that Clinton purchased. And Rush Limbaugh, God bless him. I, you know, God bless him. He shared my article below. Rush Limbaugh twice. It's in the pinned comment. Everything, everything about the Mueller probe was linked to Clinton. Just like that app. Isn't that a coincidence? Gosh, it's a coincidence. People are like, oh, you're so obsessed, man. Like, well, why is everything linked to one? Oh, that's right. Hey, I have no, I actually like, I like Hillary Clinton now. Are you kidding me? She is the, the person who will vindicate everything that I've ever been saying. So God bless her. Are you kidding? I am the biggest Hillary Clinton supporter on the internet now. This is a fact. I am the H. A. Goodman is the biggest Hillary Clinton supporter on the internet. She'll lose to Trump. I'm voting Trump. She's cheating Bernie right as we speak. But everything that I said is being vindicated, and she just has to be herself for me to be vindicated. It's fantastic. Give me your thoughts below. People are actually f- so frustrated. They're so <laughs> they're so frustrated. They're like, I gotta get out of here. Trump. Trump. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do with themselves. Their whole thing, ladies and gentlemen, was utilize the government against Trump, trying to prevent him from having a normal presidency, 
And really what it came down to, it wasn't just about Trump because Trump, he doesn't, he's strong enough. He's no Bernie Sanders. He fights. Okay. He's strong enough to just weather the, you know, whatever and, and fight back. What media and Democrats and James Comey and all these people wanted is they wanted to break the will of the American people. They wanted, they wanted the average American to say, I've had enough. Even if Trump's a good president, it's too much. There's too much noise. There's too much yelling and noise and, and, and media meltdown and Hollywood and vitriol and venom. And there's too much. It's too much. We I can't watch the Oscars and without it, we can't do this without I even you know. There's no there's no respite. There's no you know. There's no way to just forget about you know some kind of like relief, some kind of just vacation from all this madness. And they just want people to say, that's it, I give up. Even if Trump's a good president, I'm not going to vote for him because I, I want this to end. Yeah, the, American, the average American is not like that, though. So the Democratic Party is like that. They'll be led every which way that, that Clinton wants. You'll see what happens tonight. If and when Bernie Sanders gets cheated... It'll be pandemonium, pandemonium on the left, easily crushed by the I'm With Her crowd. Give me your thoughts below. Check out H.A. Gooden's other channel. Be here tonight for the live stream, 10 p.m. Pacific, 10 to 10.30, 10, around 10.30 p.m. Pacific. Be here. It'll be an epic live stream. Epic, epic live stream. We're going to talk about the results of New Hampshire and how Bernie was cheated. Give me your thoughts. Thank you.